All right, just to keep with the theme, I feel like I need to style my hair like I did in high school. Let's get into this poof here. Oh, yes. If you didn't do your hair like this, what were you doing? Let's just make our forehead look really tall. What do you think? The receipts? Hey guys, in today's video, I'm gonna be recreating my makeup that I did in high school. This is gonna be kind of a high school slash like right when I graduated. It's gonna be a fusion between the both of them because I wasn't even allowed to wear makeup until I was 16, which I was almost a senior. My mom would not let me wear it. She was so against it. And I think it was because I was like, why Why do I feel like everybody else is allowed to wear makeup except for me? I think because I had three older brothers, there was nobody there to pave the way for me with my mom, nobody to soften her up. So I remember on my 16th birthday, my mom got me foundation, which I will show you guys the foundation that I got, clear mascara. Clear mascara, what does that even do? Mom, what does clear mascara even do? I didn't experiment a lot with makeup in high school besides colored eyeshadows. I used to go in on colored eyeshadows. So you're gonna see that today, the technique that I used to do, which was pretty fire. I can already tell this video is gonna be painful for me. I'm like, do I try and blend it out better? But I didn't have blending brushes. I know that I did not have blending brushes. So my jam when I was in high school was NYX eyeshadows. They used to be in the little square thing. I would go across the street to CVS and get them. They were like $3. I would always wear two really bold colors, like blue and purple, purple and green. I went and got two NYX eyeshadows for this look. And I'm gonna show you guys how I did my makeup back then. It was pretty interesting. I did not wear primer. So I'm just gonna go in with color raw dog on the eye. Let's see, I used to do the brighter color on the inside. I'm pretty sure this was like the only style eyeshadow brush that I had. It was not a blending brush. I don't even know what this is, but it was like this. I'm pretty sure it was like a Target brush. I just remember like I could not have enough bright colored eyeshadows. I was just all about green, blue, purple. And when I was talking about it the other day on IG stories, my college roommate actually slid into my DM and she said, please show your St. Patrick's Day look that you did when I was a freshman in college green everywhere. I remember telling my mom, like, this is what happens when you didn't let me wear makeup till I was 16. I was just wearing like crazy colored eyeshadows all the time, dyeing my hair, trying to bleach my hair in my uh, dorm room. I dyed my hair jet black, blue black, and then we would try and bleach on top of that. So that's probably why I don't have any hair left. There was no transition color, by the way. There was no crease color, just this, no primer. And I definitely brought it into the inner corner. I know that. I don't know how the eyeshadow is getting all the way over here, but it's happening. Okay, then what I would do, and I just thought this is so cool, like using two different colors, I would take a purple and just split it right down the middle, you know? Boom. And I remember, uh, well, it was actually through high school and college, I worked at In-N-Out, which is a fast food burger place, in case you guys didn't know. And I used to get in trouble all the time because I would wear this kind of eyeshadow there and you're supposed to have like a more natural look. Like basically don't wear wild colored eyeshadow and I would still come in like this. Trying to hide from managers, you know, but I refused to not do it. And then, you know, if I wanted to get really dramatic, this purple is like really not wanting to stay on my eye. I'm gonna try and put it on with my finger here. There we go, that's a little bit better. I did use my fingers a lot, I remember that because I only had one eyeshadow brush, I'm pretty sure. If I was trying to get like more dramatic or something, I would put black, just straight black in the outer corner. I think I used Q-tips for the black, like on the outer corner, and then tried to use the brush on top of that. No transition color. I used to sneak going to my friend's house in the morning. I would go to her house before school and use her mascara and put mascara on, and then I would wash it off at her house before I got home. I did that for a little while and then I came home with mascara crumbles underneath my eye. I was grounded for quite a while after that, actually. Mm -hmm. The stripe, I remember the stripe. It's all coming back to me. I feel like trying to blend without primer on, you really have no idea what could happen. Like, what is that? What? What's happening over there? That's right, we're done. Do I do eyeliner? I sure don't. So this was my, I remember this being my go-to, you know, after the clear mascara situation, I decided to upgrade and get black mascara. L'Oreal Telescopic, I actually wore this for a very, very long time. And I'm pretty sure I did not curl my eyelashes because I was like, oh yeah, straight lashes are sick. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Brows have come a really long way for me. When I was in high school, I didn't touch them. 
This, by the way, I did. I never over plucked or over tweezed. I barely tweeze my brows now. I barely have ever tweezed my brows. This is just how thin they've always been. I remember thinking in high school, like I don't need to fill it in. They look good. But I started filling them in like right after I graduated and this is how it went down. First of all, I'm pretty sure there were a few times I used black eyeshadow, but I used to use dark brown shadow. So I found this from NYX. This is the eyebrow cake powder but I just used straight up eyeshadow, the darkest eyeshadow I could find. I would not add any new shape, but I would fill what I already have going on. Just right here. Just where I have hair, nowhere else. So here, nope, just right there. The sharper the corners, the better for me on brows back in the day. Yep. Mm-hmm. Make sure it's nice and skinny tail. Very skinny tail. I was like, yeah. See, look, I already went outside the lines here. This is gonna be the hardest part for me. I already know this. I used powder. Not only did I use powder, I used the Bare Minerals Original Swirl Tap Buff Foundation, okay? I remember in high school, I really struggled with my skin and my mom told me like, this is gonna be the best for your face. You don't wanna put any liquid on your face. It's gonna clog your pores, blah, blah, blah. And I was like, okay, I'm not gonna do it. This foundation made my face itch and I didn't even know it. I thought that's just how it felt having makeup on. <sighs> Girl, I really I actually do like Bare Minerals liquid foundation, but powder, can you guys imagine me wearing that much powder now? Like I'm all about creams these days, and yet back in the day, I was literally only wearing powder. All right, so I went with the same shade that I wore back then, which was medium beige. I think they only had like five colors back then. You put some out here, you swirl, tap any excess off, and then you just start buffing it into the skin. And I'm pretty sure I did not prime my face back in the day. There we go. What if this looks like hella good though, you know? And I remember this stuff lasted me like a year. Can you imagine me not wearing like liquid under eye concealer? I, I don't even know what that's like. I didn't really shop at MAC even until like my late years in college because I was always super intimidated when I was in high school. I mean, it was definitely not in my price range. I think this foundation was like the priciest thing I had, but I don't even remember like I wouldn't go in. I just found it to be super intimidating back then. I remember that. I think my first shade was either carbon or nylon eyeshadow. All right, I feel like we've got a nice even coat of foundation going on here. There's so many more things I wanna cover. Okay, now I know this next part is actually gonna cause me physical pain. Powder concealer. I got the shade Well Rested, which I know is like more of a brightening one, but I know, I think I wore like Bisque, I think was the shade. It was like more pinky tone. I didn't do it all the way down here. I'm pretty sure it was just right here. So, I mean, it's not something I would wear by choice. Don't get me wrong, but it's not as tragic as I thought it was gonna be. It's very shiny. Specifically the left one. I don't know if there's more light coming in on the left side, but there's a lot of sheen happening under here. And then what I would do to bronze, I did bronze back in the day, faux tan from Bare Minerals. I think I'm just gonna go like this. And then I would take, I would hella contour back in the day. And then powder blush. This is my jam, Vintage Peach. I remember Vintage Peach being a thing. Swirl tap buff. I'm 99% sure I did not wear a highlight. I think maybe it was just, my face looks definitely luminous with this foundation on. I don't know what's going on here. This definitely looks like I was wearing sunglasses for a long period of time. And then I would just put black eyeshadow on the lower lash line. I know sometimes I skip the lower lash line altogether and I would just put black in my waterline. I was wearing black in my waterline like all the time. Even with no eyeshadow, no mascara, I would still have to have black in my waterline. It made my eyes look heavier. I don't know what I was doing, just like that. And there's already green under here. So I'm gonna go ahead and put some purple. I don't remember if this is what I would do. I probably did this with a Q-tip too, TBH. And then for lipstick, I actually, I remember not liking my lips and I didn't want them to like stand out. So I would just wear lip balm. I don't think I wore lipstick for a long time. Even when I started my channel, I think I only wore like really light pink. I just didn't like my lips standing out. Look at me now, look at me these days. Well, I think that's it. I feel like this is a good place to stop now.
before more colored eyeshadows start coming out. Oh yeah, and I don't think I ever wore mascara on my bottom lashes because I didn't like them to look really long. Anyway, so that is how I did my makeup in high school. I'm looking a little toasty. This eyeshadow is killing me. It's killing me right now. It's actually like a, my arms are folded. I'm very uncomfortable. But this this is kind of how it went down back in the day. I can't really tell what's causing me more pain if, if it's my brows or my eyeshadow, actually. My face isn't really causing me as much pain as I thought. It looks not so bad far away. But when I get up close, I can see pores on my cheeks down here that I didn't even know I had. Anyway, so that is how I did my makeup in high school. I am already looking forward to taking this off. I'm having a lot of flashbacks. That wraps up this video. This was a lot of fun to film. I really hope you guys enjoyed it and thank you so much for watching.